ladies and gentlemen welcome back to your daily dose oh my god y'all i'm your host alizé bill and this is the legacy the legacy podcast lord have mercy <laughs> the daily dose show okay so y'all it is really finna get real up in here um we're gonna do a mukbang as though you would call it so what i ordered was what did i order they got my bag all ripped look at this I'm trying to get up in my damn bag you see that don't make no damn sense okay so what ooh, what i ordered was well i'm doing because i can't really eat like bad foods like far as like chili cheese fries and stuff like that so i'm staying away from stuff like that so what i got was um salmon asparagus and these watered down no i'm joking <laughs> i got some lobster i think it's what lobster tails i think that's what this is lobster tails okay i've never had lobster before um and i also got before i even do that hold on let's pop this bitch open let's let's do this right here let's pop this open let's pop it open we gonna do a little talkity talk okay y'all see that y'all see that oh look at it look at it look at it mm. it smelled good i ain't never had it before i'm getting all excited and stuff i ain't never really had it before look at that lobster tails they gave me the little uh i guess it's the butter that you put on it and then you got the little lemon in there they got the little mm, they got the little lemon in there um so you already know what this little piece of ass salmon i could have ordered a steak look at this <laughs> okay so i got some salmon that salmon is pitiful and i got some asparagus as you can see it's some mac and cheese um so first off let's try asparagus real quick mm hmm I got a little butter up here. I don't know why. Um, and I guess this is like a little biscuit. Can't be eating this damn bread. Like a little biscuit right there. You see a little bread. It's wheat. You know. So anyway, y'all, grab y'all plate. Um, did they give me a damn? They didn't even give me a damn what you call. Hold on. They didn't even give me no utensils. no it's not it's a it's it's a um it's a moth okay so anyway there's a moth flying around leave it alone moths are actually spiritual creatures so if y'all be like killing moths and stuff like that that don't make no sense you don't you go into hell no i'm joking so um anyway grab you a little bowl go ahead and eat with me let me tell y'all what's been going on mm. i'm gonna dive into these asparagus though Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's grilled asparagus too. So, mmm. See, I've never had something different. Like, mmm, mmm. When I order stuff, oof, I'm not supposed to be eating this damn bread. But it's wheat, so. When I order stuff. Ooh. When I order stuff. Mmm. I make sure. I'll be getting me chili cheese fries, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Just shoot. But honestly, I'm really proud of myself because I've been like certain sweets I crave and stuff like that. Like even when I order out food, I give me some vegetables. I got me some uh, macaroni and cheese, but I don't even supposed to be eating this damn bread, but shoot. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I know. You probably like, I was like, come on. Y'all, there's been so much going on. Um, I feel like 
I'm at this point in my life. Mm. So give me one second. Because my wisdom teeth. I'm at this point in my life where I know who I want in my life and who I don't. You know? You feel me? So, like, I don't eat that whole bread, but, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, too many people come to me with their problems. I don't know if y'all deal with that, but so many people, like, people just come see with their problems. I'm like, God damn, shit, you know? Let's taste this mac and cheese. Mmm. Okay. It's all right. Let me taste this salmon real quick. But, you know, it just come into your life and mm mm. And then the thing is, when people, this is how you know a real friend isn't somebody who's going to just keep calling you 24 7 with their problems. That's not a real friend. Let's try. I know y'all ready for me to try this goddamn um what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like what how do I even eat this? Why they why they do that look at this? Why they, the crab? Why they do the lobster like that? Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Nothing. And then you got the little meat. That's only a little bit of piece of meat right there. Black Angus, what is y'all doing? Poor lobster crying. What the hell? Mmm. Okay. It ain't. It ain't slap your mama. But it's cool. You put some of that lemon on it though. Mmm. Oh, let's see how it tastes now. All the squares, all the lemon out. Lord have mercy. But yeah, like people will look, use you like that. Mmm. Mmm. By the way, y'all, if you want to follow me on TikTok to see more videos, because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm blowing up. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I'm blowing up. Follow me on TikTok at Zellum15. That's Z E L U M 15. Also, um, follow me on Instagram at alizemills.1. Once again, that's alizemills, alizemills.1. And you will see me posting a lot of videos. Let me try it with this. I think you dip it in the butter, right? I've never ate lobster before. This is my first time trying lobster. What the hell? The bag just flipped over. Uh-uh. But this is my first time trying lobster. So, I've never had it before. Mmm, but. It's very well seasoned. It's very good. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-hmm, that's good. I ain't even got no damn nut. They didn't even give me no napkins. They said she gonna eat it the way it is, huh? That's so good. Oh my god. I'm hungry, y'all. I was trying to figure out what was I gonna eat. See, I've been trying to order more like when you can eat out food on a calorie deficit, but you can also like order, you know, like better food, like for you, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. This asparagus? delicious but anyway back to the story so i had a friend and she decided to she always wanted to tell me her problems and don't get me wrong like i care about my friends you know but when it comes to a point where you telling me about your problems 24 7 and like I put my two cents in 
about a situation and no shade to her i'm not telling y'all her name because that's wrong but i put my two cents in about a situation and i told her i said you know um i'm gonna tell you again at the end of the day this is your decision you know and I, I i i told her about it she told me she would always ask me for advice and i put my two cents in but i said what's the point of me putting my two cents in if you're not going to accept it and i'm not going to be messy and put her business out there but it was just it upset me because it was like i had to tell her like you got to deal with this on your own sweetie because at times people kept telling me i would go to people for advice about a guy that i used to date and I'm not going to put his name out there, his business. But I used to date this man. And this man was so disrespectful. He used me for money. He used me for sex. He he used me for just, just my body. Just everything. He just used me. He didn't give a damn about me. And the messed up part about the situation was that he really like... he manipulated me into making me think like he was a narcissist and whatever he told me to do it do it happened like i could not get away from this man because my dumb self put him over my family and i shouldn't have done that but at first, he sweet-talked me, took me in, all of that. Next thing you know, shit. <laughs> it was all a lie. And he got what he wanted because he fucked me up in the head. Excuse my language, but he really did. I remember everybody used to say, I was at I used to complain to my homeboy. He used to say, look, this is on you. This is on you. And I'm just like, damn, like, ain't nobody gonna help me out. And I realized that I had to get myself out of the situation. So in this case, I tried to help her to get herself out of the situation. Sorry if I'm looking somewhere else. It's just like, I'm trying to see if my grandma just came in. But... I'm trying to help her out the situation. That's not the case. I'm going to put some little bit of lemon on my asparagus. But, um, she just wanted to keep making the same choices and same decisions. And I keep telling her at the end of the day, you got to choose you, baby girl. You know? Because ain't nobody going to love you like you love you. And we always want to go put these men above us, put these women above us. I'm homosexual, but I'm just saying, making it seem like, just in general, we put people on a pedestal and give them everything, but we don't give ourselves anything back in return. And then that's where everything becomes a problem because you sitting here and you giving this person more than anything but what about you y'all probably can't see the food right now but let me try to angle the camera down a little bit so y'all can see mm. no y'all can see me anyway so it's just a shame You got to be like Stella that got her groove back, okay? Period. And I went on TikTok because I wanted to ask somebody like, was I wrong for doing that to her? And they said, no. Mm -mm. Because I'm an empath and as an empath, that's draining. Mmm. This asparagus is delicious. That's draining. And we can't put up with shit like that. You know? We just can't. And if you are an empath, comment below. 
Mm, y'all, I eat crazy. Mmm. Mmm. If you hear that in the background, that's that poor little puppy that be having staying outside. That's wrong. Mmm. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. The food ain't gonna go. Shoot up in this cave. Mmm. But no, like. I didn't want to keep putting myself in that situation and trying to help people. I mean, I'm always there for somebody. But when I need somebody to return a favor, they're not there for me. It's always, oh, I'm going to go to Alizé. I'm going to go to Alizé. But you're draining Alizé, sweetie. Mm. You are draining me. And it is not good. It is hurtful. It is not good at all. So, you know, sometimes you gotta let motherfuckers know. Like, I'm not gonna deal with this. Mmm. I like lobster. It's really good. So, if you have somebody that's doing that, let them know real talk. Excuse me, real talk. I'm not gonna put up with this shit. And it's not even to be an asshole because you gotta protect your inner peace. Your inner peace is the most important thing of all. So if I'm sitting up here and I'm trying to help you all the time and heal you, I need some napkins. Even if it's, uh, what you might call it? Okay. Ah! Get anything on my mom's blanket. So if I'm trying to help you 24-7 and I can't even help myself. And then you feel me like when you're when I'm going through a situation, it's mostly about you. Because you be taking the whole the whole time we talk, this girl takes up the whole conversation. Like, I'll tell her about a situation I'm going through or whatever it is. And she'll sit, she'll, she'll, she'll have her remarks on it and stuff like that. But it's like at the end, damn, look at that. I just can't believe y'all do stuff like this. Like, look at that. <laughs> like, I cannot, I can't, I can't do that. Like, literally, she would take up the whole conversation. And I was told I'd do that too. I have done it. And that was disrespectful. Because it's not all about me. It's not all about Alizé. You know? Just like it's not all about you. But. When it's our time. It is all about us. When it's our time to be in our own space. It is about us. You know? So. At the end of the day. Um, I'm going to protect my peace regardless of what that individual says or even if that person needs my help and that goes for you too if you have a person that continually continuously comes to you with problems and problems and nothing but problems that person is not your friend. They leeching off your energy. No. They're energy vampires, honey. A person who makes you think you insane and manipulates you and makes you think that you're the problem is a narcissist. I know because I used to be one. <laughs> Hello? Like, so... Protect your energy. Understand, baby. 
you are worth so much more period and shit you just worth the, you you worth so much more <laughs> you don't need to be sitting over here babysitting nobody nobody kids you know it's okay to be there for that person but as long as you guys are reciprocating the same in return and that's not what was happening I just felt hurt because it was like I feel like you're really using me and you don't see that because the only time she called me like I can't even call her she don't even answer the phone she called me and expect me to answer the phone 24-7 I don't answer the phone. It's pro How is that why you ain't answering the phone? I'm asleep. First off, baby, I take a very high dosage of medication that makes me drowsy and knocks me out. So, when I'm asleep, baby, baby, I'm asleep. Like, I'm asleep. It's over. I can't eat this bread. Only ate like a little bit of it. Um, I did fuck that macaroni and cheese up. I had asparagus, mac and cheese, and that. But, honey, you're not gonna make me quit cold turkey. <laughs> but um, mm mm, like hell no. Like my whole thing is this. I'm going to start letting people know, like, don't be calling me in the morning. Because when people call me in the morning, they bug me. And when I see my phone go off, like, like seriously, when I see my phone go off, I don't even answer it. And the reason I don't answer my phone is because I'm hev I'm heavily medicated and, sed like, medicated off of uh, medication. I'm not going to answer your call. If it's, like, my therapist or something, that's a different story. But... I'm not going to answer your call. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You got another thought coming, baby. Let's see if it's some more lemon up in here. You have another thought coming. Because, baby. <laughs> Alize is not doing that. Mm. Y'all. Y'all might like eat it with me because I get sloppy. I get into it. Mmm, that was so good. Like, that's something different. <laughs> Normally, I'll be ordering chili cheese fries and stuff. Mm-mm. I'm going to start ordering stuff like this. But, mmm. Oh, my God. Baby. I should have got me some broccoli, too. I love broccoli. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable. So, for my future wife out there, because I know she watching. Um, baby, I love broccoli, asparagus, and now I love lobster. Um, mac and cheese is okay, but um, yeah, for my vegetables, I love broccoli, asparagus, and spinach. Oh, and string beans. String beans is popping. Mmm. Oh. And I like kale. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. And also, what else I love, baby? Baby, I'm a seafood fan. <laughs> so, period. That's to my future wife. But anyway, y'all, I swear, like, People, mm-mm, mm-mm, baby, mm-mm, you gotta let them go. I had a friend, well, we wasn't really friends because we was disrespectful towards each other for so many years. She was not my friend, I was not her friend. I did this girl so dirty, I'm not finna sit, oh, she back. I did this girl so dirty. <laughs> 
I was mean. I spit on that girl. I did the I did the worst stuff to her. I'm not eating this bread. Um, but yeah, I was mean to that girl. She was mean to me. She watched while my pants get pulled down and all. But this person told me I never listened to them. And it took me the longest to try to like really figure out like, do I not listen? Honey, it's true. But now I'm such a good listener. Like for women, I listen to women. I really do. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it was crazy. Like it was crazy, excuse me. <laughs> it was crazy. So what I could tell y'all honestly is to really be careful and mindful of the people that you allow in your life and you call your damn friends because them bitches ain't your friends. Them people, the ones who talk mess about you behind your back, the ones who, um, who manipulate you and make you feel crazy, and the ones who always want to come to you with a goddamn problem. They ain't your damn friends. Them is just energy vampires and hoes. So, what I would like to say is, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I did my first bug ball. We gonna do another one, baby. We gonna get with it. You already know how we do it. So, um, uh, I loved it. I hope y'all enjoyed eating with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to do more mukbangs, please let me know because I'm going to start cooking. Like I said, we finna get really creative, y'all. Okay? And we is going to come with the vlogging. So you already know. So like I said, I love you guys. You guys are totally amazing. You make my world go round. Ooh, you make my world go round. And also, put in the comments of what you want me to try. That's not, that's healthy, though. I mean, I wouldn't say I ate healthy because I had some mac and cheese and I had a half of that piece of bread. But I had my salmon and I had my asparagus. So, I did do that. I didn't have no fries and all of that stuff. So, uh, what I would say is comment below with anything else you guys would like for me to try because I want to try new stuff. Don't be commenting in the comments talking about try tarantulas and all that stupid stuff. I don't do stuff like that. And if I'm going to try something, let me know from what restaurant, from where it's at, because I would love to do that. You guys are totally amazing. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose of Alizette. And like I said, we going to keep on coming. Cause we rising, we rising, baby, we rising. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, cause I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands, and I'm gonna go drink me some alkaline water. Bye.